Well, I think we're on Facebook, I believe. And we are recording that we know. And then I've got to turn on my lights here. There we go. And now I'm I'm here. Hi, it's Alex. And it's time for our little fun romp that we do every mo every uh, Monday, which is uh, to talk to people that are really nice about, and have some nice friendly talk going on here. Kind of a difference for, you know, these kinds of programs. And uh, we're happy to see you all uh, waiting out there, our usual group. Marjorie will not be here today, uh, although we know she's a rating getter. But she uh, has uh, TMJ, uh, and she had to go to the dentist today and have her jaw put back into order, I guess. That's the best way to put it. So, uh, But we will have whoever we have here. So let's admit them now. As we uh, join the crowd, um, here comes Edward Berger. Yes, Edward. And uh, let's see here. I I said that. Oh, I forgot to push admit all. There we go. Uh -oh. oh, there's Rick Sheckman. There's Jeff Stein. There's uh, Charlene. Uh, there's, uh, let's see, here. Uh, Candace and uh, Mike Chisholm. We never see Candace. Uh, Len Lefisco. Hello there, all 11, yes, and uh, yeah, so we look at everybody here, oh, Andrew Deutsch, got to add him, he's calling now, uh, admit, there we go, hello everybody. Hi. Oh, Alex. Oh, greetings. Yeah, as I said, Marjorie won't be here today because she, last uh, Friday in the morning, she woke up with TMJ and she couldn't talk, she couldn't, eat, <laughs> she couldn't wow. barely drink. Her jaw was killing her, and she couldn't get it get to the dentist because the dentist had the day off. <laughs> so she had to suffer all weekend long with this thing. I thought she you would have mistaken her for somebody who was at death's door. Okay. Mm. My wife's had it before. It's awful. Yeah, it's just terrible. And she had to go there, and the dentist had to go in and literally readjust the jaw or something, push it back into shape. <laughs> Oh, my wife got a chiropractor to do it. A chiropractor fixed it for her, and it did a did some crazy chiropractic jaw move, and it well, worked. I prefer to have a dentist do it, but yeah. But anyway, so she's resting, and uh, yeah, she can talk now. But you know, it's, it's not it hasn't been pleasant. So oh. horrible couple of days for her. Give her yeah. our best, please. I will. Yeah. I hope she feels better shortly. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I love it when she's in pain because then I can say, does it hurt? And she goes, yes. I go, good. <laughs> you probably also think you went deaf because you're not hearing her at you all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, she, uh, but she, she came back from the dentist and she actually is, I'd say a hundred percent better. You know, I mean, she couldn't even talk and, wow. and it's frustrating, you know, it's frustrating for me. Uh, because I'm not getting all the attention. But besides that, it's frustrating <laughs> for me because there's nothing I can do about it. You know, I mean, she can sit there, I'm in pain and I'm done. And all I can suggest is, you know, go, go to a doctor. And and she couldn't. She couldn't. There was nobody she could get to. Um, in fact, uh, somebody suggested an oral surgeon for her. Mm-hmm. So she called up the oral surgeon's office and they said, uh, well, we, we don't take Medicare. Yeah, of course. Right. And then uh, they said, oh, but, OK, our first uh, our first opening is at the end of October. <laughs> now, now, what, ha what, happened to, what happened to the days when you call a doctor and you say, I'm in great pain that they said, get down here right now. Right or to they show, or they come to your house. <laughs> yeah. They come to your house, yeah. But forget that. Forget house calls. I I give up on house calls. All right, <laughs> but they just don't. You know, they don't. They, they oh, we can see you the end of October. Yeah, but I just chopped off my leg now. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Hard. I think a good a good husband would have uh, googled dental schools and. Gotten a crash course to help his wife. I, I well, medicine, medicine, is my imagination is medicine gotten terrible? 
both. Mm. Huh? Your imagination <laughs> and it's gotten terrible. Yeah, oh, I see both. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, they're overworked. They're, they're overworked, but there's something else going on here. Yeah. You know, they're overwhelmed. I told, I told you the story, Alex, when, when I got sick with tested positive for COVID and went on the, the, the local hospitals telehealth thing. Mm -hmm. And the doctor came on and said, how can I help you? And I said, I tested positive for COVID. I want to get the, 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 the pills. She said, I'm, I'm sorry. I really don't know how to treat COVID. You're going to have to go to the ER. Oh, and it cost me 50 bucks. Well, I, I complained. I happened to go to an event that was a fundraiser for that particular hospital because oh my of my God. work and ended up standing next to the head of the ER, the, the doctor who manages. And I told her the story. <laughs> and she said, can you tell me what time it was, what it was? And the next thing I knew, I got a call from their PR department refunding my money and letting me know that that doctor is no longer doing telehealth. Excellent. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. They, so what So what did you do? You just suffered through the COVID? I went to the ER and was treated yeah. very well and yeah. got the pills. And after insurance and everything, I was about out about 400 bucks as opposed to you know, the, the 30 or 50 bucks, whatever the telehealth would have, she could have just called the prescription. In. Oh, I was treated well. I mean, I can't, I can't complain. The ER did a great job, but um, I certainly would have preferred paying 50 bucks to 400 bucks. Oh, I bet. Uh, no to get my free, my free meds at the pharmacy. They didn't charge me for them because they're, they're covered. Wow. But, but yeah. You wonder what people do that, that don't have connections like you. Oh, I know what they do. They die. They die. Yeah. yeah. I, there's no, there's no mystery there. It's the same. I was, there was a rumor going around that, that Starbucks, and it's a rumor. It's actually not true. was going to go completely cashless. It would no yeah. longer take cash. It's not true, but you think about it. How, what percentage of our population can't get a bank account and can't have a debit card or a credit card? You know, it's, it, Going I, cashless I, I, is discrimination. I, I read they were going cashless. Is that it's, it's not true? It's, it's completely not true. not true. Charlene? I was in Vegas last weekend and almost every single thing was cashless. True. Almost everything. Yeah. I, I believe it, but the, the rumor about Starbucks isn't isn't true. Well, they're going not that, I'm, not that I'm a Starbucks fan, but Shecky, they're going somewhat uh, uh, cashless in the subways, aren't they? Yeah, you have to like. Yeah, I think it's a year away. You have to like put a credit card and hold it up and let some machine read it. Wow. And there's, I, I think it's something like, I, I don't know the stats. I don't want to get it wrong, but it's, it's a rather surprisingly high percentage of Americans who can't get a bank account or any kind of credit card because of their low income. Mm -hmm. Not, not even or because no they have bad address or, or that, that, that also. Or their immigration status, maybe as well. Yeah, but well, and they that, take what they do is they cash their check if they work somewhere, and they take the money home. Well, they go yeah, to well, those ca check cashing places that charge them an arm and a leg. Yeah. Cash right. Check. right. You know, right. the right wingers all talk about the lottery being a tax on the poor. It's this is the tax on the poor. You you can't you can't get your full paycheck because there's no place that you can deposit it or or yep. or just cash it for for money. Wow, we're talking about sad stuff. No, this is good stuff. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it before five o'clock today. Yeah. Okay. Good. Charlie, what's the solution? When one of smart. Us is president. Char what, what is Charlie? What does your uh, T-shirt today say? Explain oh, it to us. He, 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 he has a degree in physics. Is it physics? Voltage divided astrophysics, by yeah. astrophysics. Oh, I, oh, astrophysics. Okay. Yeah, Pardon me. Easier. <laughs> Anyway, astrophysics, uh, he has a degree in astrophysics, Wasn't so he always wears t-shirts like this that none of us can understand. I had um, a degree in astro, but that was just from watching the Jetsons. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, get your face in the center of the picture a little more. Sorry, everybody. Okay, what does that say? The resistance is not futile. It's voltage divided by current. Yeah. Which which is ohms of resistance, right? Yes. But what does it say <laughs> below it? It just says what the, the, the oh. equation says. Oh, Ohms I see. Okay. By current. Okay. <laughs> I think that's very cool. <laughs> oh, no, he has the coolest t shirts. I, mean, <laughs> yeah. I got to do something in my retirement. Where, where do you find these on Amazon? Yeah, most of them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 
What do they have? A physics section for t-shirts? It's called science, funny science t-shirts. Funny hmm. science t-shirts. Yeah. I'll have to start getting some because these yeah. 1939s are getting old. You know. But, but you'd have to understand the joke though. <laughs> Well, if well I will. I will buy one of the shirts, and then I will call Charlie and say, "What does it mean?" There you go. It's a conversation starter, Paula. Mm. I got that. I just stop out in public all the time. Did you ever do anything with your astrophysics? Does, uh, um, uh, I uh, I used to give sky shows at Adler Planetarium in Chicago, and then I also was a uh, I taught uh, when I was a graduate student. I taught. Um, yeah. Economy. Oh, okay. At the University of Texas. Yeah. You, you're not a doctor or, or anything, are you? No. 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 Oh, damn it. I want to be. Able I to ended know. up working in IT. I worked as a, a systems analyst for yeah. 30 years. Wow. May I contribute to the conversation and shamelessly self promote at the same time, please? Sure. Sure. Go, go right ahead, Mike Chisholm. Outstanding. We just had uh, Eddie Brill on the podcast again. It hasn't come out yet on the Letterman podcast. And we came, we remembered a bit that Dave did on the late show that was very similar to this. What they would do is they would bring on like a scientist or a mathematician and they would have them tell jokes that other scientists and mathematicians <laughs> found funny, but they were over everybody else's head. <laughs> and it was a bit that they had on the show. Uh, and those shirts remind me of that bit. And it's funny how that just came up. And now this is coming up as well. Yeah, how's it? How is Eddie these days? Eddie's good. Okay. Good. Eddie's good. Right. I've known Eddie. How long have I known Eddie Rick for? Goes, oh, no. back, goes, <laughs> goes back to San Francisco. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Who's this Letterman guy you keep bringing up? I don't think I've ever heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, brings, he, he brings the mail every day. <laughs> <laughs> hello to mandy o'brien it's uh mandy is busy at work but she manages to always sign in here and join us hello mandy hello i've been wearing my mask today why because i had covid last week oh, oh. Mandy. wait a minute how many people oh, hold on a second how many people here have had covid will you raise your hands please Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So there's, there's three of us, four of us, uh, and and now Mandy joins the crowd. So how was it, Mandy? Uh, it went through my office, um, so I wasn't really surprised that several people got it. But it, I, w I had a little small fever for like two days. Uh, yeah. Then, but well, then I had to stay in my apartment till yesterday. I was about to go crazy. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, but, I still have technically have a negative, a positive test. I'm not negative yet, but I'm past the CDC guidelines of isolation. I'm did you, did you maybe go get the uh, the Paxlovid pills? That that knocks it out pretty fast. I mean, I, I I felt fine by Friday. I got it Wednesday morning, and mm -hmm. then had Wednesday Thursday, and then by Friday, I mean, I was tired, but I didn't have a fever. But you weren't feeling terrible at all. No, just during those two days, I was just sleeping a lot, had a small, mild headache, you know. You've had, just, and you've had all the vaccines right? and you've had all the boosters, right? Yeah, but in twenty, in May of 21 is when I had the vaccine. So it's I hadn't had a booster or anything. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. oh you didn't get the boosters. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. you probably would have, if you had had the boosters, you probably would have even had less yeah. symptoms. Probably so, yeah. yeah. Alex, are you getting the newest booster, this, the one they're talking about? The Omicron. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, if I can find it. Yeah, my co getting it. it. I'm yeah. getting it on Friday. Yeah, mm -hmm. my co-workers just said she was um, going to get it. And me and, me and her were supposed to go to a concert Friday. I was so bummed. She still went. Um, it was the Outlaw Festival with Willie Nelson. And oh. Other, um, oh. I didn't get to go, but um, Is he, she's going to go. Still, get he's still working, huh? Yeah, he's like Boy, he's he's gonna outlive the queen at this rate. She said that this dude yelled at her at the concert because she she said a lot of people were sitting down like during the performance. People were just kind of enjoying the music. You know, it was like in an um, outdoor amphitheater. Yeah. And she said this dude came up and just started screaming at her. Like, get up! This man deserves you to stand up. He's 89 years old. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a Willie <laughs> Nelson zealot. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hate people who tell you how you should be yeah. yeah. You know? She said he got right in her face. She was like, get the hell away from me. Yeah. 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 He was he was definitely a hippie. He was definitely a hippie. Definitely a hippie? Yeah. Hey, knock it off. I was a hippie. Yeah. <laughs> I was a hippie once. Remember me, my hippie days, Rick? Hmm? Oh, yeah. You know, I had hair down to here. Yeah. You had a lot of hair. Yeah, I had a lot of hair. And then one day, one day I went into a bar, I went into a barber shop, go get a haircut, right? To go get it, you know, shaped up and so on. And the guy looks at me and says, Well, how do you want it today? And I looked in the mirror and I went, cut it all off. Wow. And he gave me a real short haircut. And the next night I went into like Max's Kansas City here in New York, where everybody had hair down to here, right? Or long hair or long bushy yeah. hair. And they said, what did you do to your hair? And I said, I got tired of having to take two hours to dry and all of that, you know. I said, it was just time, right? And they're just all assailing me. How can you do it? Like I made some radical anti-political <laughs> statement, you know? And within three days, 10 of those people had cut their hair off. <laughs> it only took me to get them to want to do it. You know, as a motivator. <laughs> well, I You're think a trendsetter, that, Bennett. You're a trendsetter. I think that most You're guys- You're an influencer. Well, yes. <laughs> most guys who grew grew their hair long, I think will have to admit they didn't like it. You know, I, I like the but, way it looked. It was just a pain in the ass to keep it. Well, no, it 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 we we learned what women have been putting up with all those years. You know, like when it's you wash your hair and now it's got to dry. How long it takes for it to dry? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Mandy. Okay, I'll give you all my money, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> She got her mask on. What? Uh, I'm just afraid somebody's gonna walk in here. I, I need to I shut know. my door. Well, I think sitting in your in your office, you shouldn't have to wear it, you know. No, no. That's what my boss said too. He said it's your office. They, you know, if they want to come in there and they need to let you know they're coming in. Yeah. And everybody puts masks on, masks up. Shecky, how are you doing today, my friend? Okay. Yeah. Everybody's been um, bugging him to go to a doctor. Uh oh, tomorrow. You know, and but you've had doctors, but what what's been the problem with your doctors? I'd have to go into Manhattan. Yeah, you can't get an appointment immediately, and my friend Randy's going to drive me there. Okay, but what I'm saying is that up till now, you have had doctors who have checked out this thing that's kind of wrong with you, which is a. He, he tends to pass out, you know. Um, no, I've never passed out. I've just fallen. Fallen. Or fallen. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but you can get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. But anyway, so everybody's been bugging him. Look, just go to the doctor, you know, because he doesn't want to, he didn't want to go to California because. What if it happens there, you know, and so Also, oh, it was oh. over 100 degrees out there. Yeah, well, so. that, yeah, but it wasn't when you made the plans, what I'm saying. No. And, no. And, or when you canceled them. But the thing is that we've all been bugging, go see a doctor, because not because there might be anything wrong with them, but we, it, it, what you want to find out is maybe there's nothing wrong with you, you know, and, and that will give you a peace of mind that yes. you, can, you can go places and do things and you know yeah what am i gonna do and if they find something they you know they figure out some way to clear it up right uh but he's been reluctant i guess more because he just didn't know what doctor to go to so your friend randy had a doctor who's really good she made an appointment for you and she's driving you there yeah she's picking me up at one o'clock tomorrow we have a two o'clock appointment fine yeah yeah I got to go see my my uh, the doctor who did my uh, my seeds. I think he wants to see if the flowers have grown out of my ass. <laughs> uh, and he they called me and they said he would like to see you. He hasn't seen you in a couple of years, and he wants to check up and just make sure you're okay and 
get an update on you and so on. I said, well, you know, I have a, I have a urologist who does most of the workup on me. And she says, well, you know, if you just don't want to come, it's okay. The doctor just wanted to see you. I think, I think he was, I think he was doing that for his insurance. Okay. Mm. You know, but I'm going to go see him anyway. You know, I'm not going to let him do a PSA test. Because my, I let my urologist do that. I only want it coming from one direction. I don't want it coming from several different directions, you know. But I want to go see the doc, this, this doctor, because you know he, I, it, it's good for him to check up on me. But it was nice after two years that you gave me a call and said, "Will you come over?" Because at one point I tried to get a hold of him about stuff. And I never got any reply. So finally, I just called up my urologist. I said, what do I do? He says, just come to me. He says, you know, those people over my client, I, once they've operated on you, they're through with you. <laughs> you know, they don't want to know what happened to you. You could be dead in an alley somewhere uh, with your prostate hanging out. And they wouldn't care. You know, he says, come to me. I care. And he does. He's a very good urologist. If anybody, if anybody here needs a good urologist, I'm, you know. Happy to re recommend this guy. He's he's the best. But uh, so anyway, so you go into the doctor tomorrow. Good, good. Yeah, but I had like one. Not to get, I had one friend who came over yesterday, and among the suggestions was, you know, your schools across the street from me. I should volunteer to teach English to school children after school. It's like, huh? huh? What? <laughs> why, why why was that suggested because of your sterling personality that gets along with everybody get out of the house uh, get out of the house well you know i've been out of the house well a couple of days now yeah why to begin with i stubbed my toe so badly i couldn't walk on it for a couple of days so if i put on a shoe it was killing me to walk and then when i finally did walk you know i i go, get out there and i go well, what's out here that isn't indoors for me? You know, I mean, I'll just walk around the block. Oh, good. That's exercise. Wonderful. It's terrific. But I want some place to go, you know, and there's no place to go. I've seen everything. I, I have my little walks that I did, and there are several different ones, and I got tired of that. After. I'm sure there's some folks that will tell you where to go. Uh, I'm sure <laughs> I'd be very, very, very happy to. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, uh, so everybody, are you all mourning the queen? Yeah. Why did something happen to the queen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she uh, she died finally. She retired. I keep getting old corpse watch alerts on my phone instead of news. Yeah, yeah. I um, um, you know, I I got I got I, I watch people like MSNBC. And I start yelling at the screen. You know, she wasn't our queen. Mm. You know, well, you know the flags in New York City are at half mast for all it. over the country. Yeah. yeah. Well, you see, I don't mind that. I don't mind respect being paid to her. But I mean, 24 7 coverage by these news networks. And this is already day, what, six? And by the way, the way the Gentiles drag those bodies around. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think she's visiting edinburgh this week <laughs> yeah. she's doing her scotland tour i think yeah. they have like a poster with the tour dates you know here's where she is here's where she's gonna be tomorrow and do you really care that harry and what's his name are hanging out semi hanging out at the moment couldn't care less i got a news alert on who gets the corgi dogs Oh, yes. yeah. as, oh, as breaking breaking news. Well, wait breaking minute, news. Breaking news. Who? Well, I. This may sound silly, but I'd like to know who gets yes. the corgi dog. Andrew. 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 Not this Andrew. They, yeah. No. <laughs> no who? Exactly. Andrew. Get women. Andrew. The Jeffrey the, Epstein's friend. Oh, these oh, are yeah. the corgis. Who got heckled? Oh, Charlie gets the the I hear they're real chick magnets, those dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was going to say is, you know, please put some kind of plug in the ass of those corgis, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just killed Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry. He got he got heckled during the procession. Did you? I, I saw that clip at lunch. Some dude really? right quiet. He was like, "You're a dirty old man." Or called him some. Well, you can take the corgis down to the high school and you'll see how it works out with for him. <laughs> I just think it's wonderful. He's getting the corgis. Why? Why aren't the? Why isn't William saying I'll take a corgi and Harry saying I'll take a corgi? He's probably not getting the dollar. Everybody gets a corgi. <laughs> yeah. Hand them all to Oprah and she'll pass them out. You know. <laughs> you get a. Corgi. I keep meaning to look into seeing if our money's going to change, but I, yeah. I haven't looked into it yet. They they said absolutely. Well, you're, she's on your money because the Canadians are a part they of the. Ab Canada. Absolutely, they're going to start printing the Charles money. Yeah. yeah. The question yeah. is now she's gone. How many countries in the Commonwealth are finally going to go? Eh, we're done. Yeah, there are a lot of them. They're going to do that. I think, I think Tobago has different. a referendum to. For, uh, yeah, but you know something? I got to admit something about Charles. He does kind of look kingly now. You know, he yeah. looks. It looks like a king should look. Uh, Australia wants to put Steve Irwin on their money. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that isn't that the chick from the Sex Pistols album? Yeah. 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 <laughs> But, uh, um, uh, you know, the, uh, the queen, uh, it's just uh, the whole thing is just being overdone here, you know? Yes, you, you know, you say she died, you do a day on that, and then you move on to other stuff. And then when the funeral happens, you go and you, uh, you show the funeral, right? And then there'll and, be a coronation. And then, a, well, the coronation, we always watch anyway. The last time we watched it, we had to watch it on film because right. it was flown across the Atlantic in one of the fastest planes ever flown across the Atlantic so they could then show it here. Wow. Uh, and um, that was considered a real first because I think it had never been photographed before. Mm. Uh, and this time it's going to be, you know, they're going to have like, you know, the king cam and things right. like that, you know, I mean, everything in 8K. <laughs> yeah, everything in, uh, definitely in 4K, which, by the way, I've just uh, undone my 4K on uh, Netflix. Why? Just screw them. They're charging me five or six dollars more a month for 4K. And you can't really see the difference, probably. It, uh, you can't see the difference. It, it's not that big a difference, right? And more than that, uh, I'm I'm tired of paying these people more money. They're all asking for more money. Disney oh, just, just up me. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. See, I have a deal with uh, FiOS because I got a new uh, internet hookup here. Uh, they part of the deal was I get uh, Disney Plus for uh, the package, the bundle, which includes Hulu and includes uh, 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 ESPN. ESPN Plus. Uh, I get all those for with uh, without having to pay Disney for them. But mm. the thing was, Disney screwed up. They did some kind of deal where they had me paying for Hulu separately because I was getting it ad free. And then I was paying for the Disney part of the package. That part went over to my cable company, but the Hulu didn't. Mm. And so I'm still paying twelve ninety nine mm. a month for, for Hulu. Mm. It's going up to fourteen ninety nine. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, but I it's not as ridiculous I think as as Netflix. It's a whole bunch of nothing. Mm. You know, once in a while they do something you want to watch. I did the free Hulu thing last about three weeks ago just so I could watch uh, uh, the Oroville, and now I'm going to cancel it because I, I don't need it. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff there, though. They did they, yeah, they, a lot. Uh, uh, you agree, Charlie? Yeah, I just yeah, got Hulu. Yeah. I mean, they just they just started a series uh, uh, called Mike about the life of Mike Tyson. Mm. It's yeah. terrific. It's just mm. really terrific. Mm. Have you checked out this res watched. reservation dogs? Yes, I, I, it's done by Taika Waititi, huh? and 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 the guy who did uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, are... but I, you know, I I wasn't able to really get into it. I watched about four episodes, and that was it. Mm. You know, I finally just watched uh, Only Murders in the Building. Yeah, mm. good. So part of season two, I I really enjoyed it. 
Mm-hmm. By the way, anybody, anybody, oh boy, hold on a second. Let me let me turn this down a second and then bring it back up. So that's yeah, still making that noise. Well, anyway, um, are, are they uh, Netflix had this uh, the concert or the Broadway show that Martin Short and Steve Martin did together. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was okay, you know. Yeah. I can't. I find Martin Short a bit hard to take. <clears throat> Me too. Um, but um, there's a, one joke that Steve Martin pulled. There wasn't really. I don't know if it was a joke or not. He said, "My mother is going quite senile." He said, "And the other day I was visiting her, and she said, so how's Glenn?'" And he said, "Glenn was our, my father." And I said, "Well, Mom, you know, Glenn is dead." And then she thought for a second and looked at me and said, well, that explains a lot. (laughs) 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 But, uh, yeah, Um, but no, I like murder, only murders in the building. It was good. It was fine. It wasn't terrific, you know, but it was, it was, it was good. But uh, Hulu has a lot of stuff. They had the, um, 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 but what goes on in the dark? What's it called? Uh, the oh, the vampire thing? Vampire thing, yeah. In the shadows? Yeah, yeah what happens in the shadows. That's pretty good. Uh, it's very funny. Very funny. Um, and, oh, you know what, Shecky? I, I was going to bring this up to you by phone, but as long as we're here with the gang, I'll bring it up. Yeah. So I'm watching uh, Harley Quinn hey. <laughs> on HBO. Uh, the latest episode, which is about as, um, how can I? Uh, well, not odd. What it is is it uh, goes against the DC canon, and I don't know how they got away with it. But what is considered the holy grail of of people in DC? It's Batman's parents, mm. you know, and. Um, they are considered that whole story that created Batman. The parents get killed in an alley. And of course, Bruce Wayne gets affected by it and he becomes Batman and all of that. Well, in Harley Quinn, uh, Bruce Wayne is trying to bring his parents back to life. Mm. And he does. And he can only bring them back as half zombies. So now they're going around like this, you know, throughout the whole episode, uh, you know, killing people and wanting to eat things. And I'm thinking to myself, back at D.C., did they say this was not a good idea <laughs> to make front fun of, of Thomas and Martha Wayne, you know? Well, there's only one more episode this season. Yeah, but I mean, it's, a, it's, it's a funny show. It's a funny show. I, love I haven't seen it yet. Did they use the Lazarus Pit to do it? No, no, oh. no, they no. Frank Poison Ivy resurrects them all. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, along with every other zombie in Gotham City, you know, so um, they're all part of some kind of plant culture or something like that. But anyway, it, 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 it's a funny show. And then uh, the other show I'm enjoying, believe it or not, on uh, Disney Plus is She Hulk. Yeah, <laughs> funny, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If have you seen this show Sprung on Freebie? It's the guys that did uh, My Name is Earl and uh, I forget the other one. It's uh these these guys in prison get get released because of COVID and it's it's really dumb and kind of funny. What the, where where do you find you know, on Freebie? It's on Freebie, which is, is Freebie is, used to be IMDb. It's free. You just gotta so watch what, shitty what's commercials. Freebie. I mean, where are these things they, they changed, coming from? It was IMDb and they changed the name to Freebie. Yeah, but where are these things coming from? They, they have a couple original shows and then you can, you know, catch up on uh, Little House on the Prairie and the Waltons if you want to. Oh, oh boy. Every episode of the Rockford Files. What more could you want, Alex? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Season one through whatever the hell they did. Yeah. But they, they have a couple of original shows that obviously couldn't get bought by another network. Mm-hmm. And the Sprung is actually pretty funny. By the yeah. way, I want to ask Shecky this and also Mike Chisholm this. I've been watching a letter, Letterman do these little things on YouTube. Right. They're just he and a couple of people who work for him and so on. 
It's, he's cut his beard shorter, hasn't he? He trims it every once in a while. It's been trimmed down. A bit. <laughs> you know, it was it was getting to the point where he was getting to look like. Didn't you say you saw him somewhere outside a funeral and you thought it was a bum standing on the street? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, ZZ yeah, Top needs a new member, don't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to pick up an instrument, though. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you, you do notice that a lot of these people who have TV shows and are doing them every day, the minute they're not doing them anymore, grow a beard. Yeah. And they grow a beard because they're so sick of shaving every day to go on television. Shave. I mean, I I don't shave but once a week now, you know, uh, and I'm happy because uh when I used to have to shave every day, I went, what, you know, what, a, what a ritual that was. And you, I you, started with the Gillette Blue Blades. You remember those? Hmm? You know, you would get so many cuts on your face and you have to put little pieces of paper on them. <laughs> and then eventually your whole floor looked like a bunch of <laughs> Japanese flags. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, they, uh, uh, Gillette came out with the two track, I think it was, or maybe it was even just the one track, but it was the thin blade. And that started going a long ways towards uh, changing it. But there was a there was a parody on um, on um, uh, Saturday Night Live once yeah. that said, you know, uh, well, first we gave you the one track, then we gave you the two track, then we gave you the three track. Now we're giving you the five track because you'll buy anything, right? <laughs> you'll fall for anything. And what do we have now? We've got five, five tracks. <laughs> And by the way, cuts beautifully, you know, shaves beautifully. Yeah. Never, you never get yeah, cuts they're anymore. Not. They're terrific. You know. And they last. For and, and they last. Well, you know, the new forever. ones. Have you seen the yellow ones that Gillette has? They cost 50 bucks for like seven of them. Jeez. But, or for maybe 12 of them. But anyway, they're yellow. No, it's and these things, they say, will last. Uh, the whole package will last a year. Each blade will last a month. And I'm thinking about it, and I only shave once a week. So I, I all I have to do is buy two or three of those, and it'll take care of me for the rest of my life. <laughs> There's a lot of money in manscaping these days. You have to turn your mic up a little bit. I'm Mike. sure oh, Costco wants, wants you to buy their version, Ooh. which would have been about 5000 of them for the rest of your life. Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, but, uh, you know, Gillette makes a good product. I mean, and shaving was, you know, and then Marjorie says, can I use it for my legs? I say, no, you use the bad ones. You use the old ones I got. You don't use the yellow ones. I used to hate when my wife would do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you remember they used to make, uh, 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 of course, uh, well, the lady uh, Paula, Paula will, will attest to this, as will Charlene, as will Mandy. That mm -hmm. they used to have the lady, the lady chick, for instance. And then what was yeah, it in between the lady chick and the mm -hmm. men chick? It was pink. About a dollar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I was wondering what you guys think about the. I, I've been reading that that uh, um, there are a lot of women now that that don't shave their armpits, and I was wondering what how you react to that. Wait a minute, Brian. Oh, Brian. Turn your camera. Oh, there he is. Oh, there there he is. Go. It's Brian. Brian, Brian oh, sorry. Sorry, Paul. I can't, I can't answer. I'm Googling how to braid armpit hair. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> you braid armpit. Well, I'm kidding, Alex. I said I'm Googling how to do it. I didn't know. It was I barely, a as I've gotten older, I barely have any hair under my armpits now. I don't know what happened to it. I just put mine into a mohawk. You know, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, girl. <laughs> Am I on the it's, right it's show? A, it's a pit hawk. <laughs> Well, I, I, you know, I mean, I still have a little bit of hair there, but it, it's somehow less hair, no hair on my legs anymore. Very little hair on my arms. Jeez, look up here. Right. Brian, Brian wins the I joined no, the show and, and the look where else. Yeah. <laughs> Did you yeah, see what I, Brian's I, name is? What what'd you say, Mandy? Look at Brian's uh label. Yeah. <laughs> Brian O'Brien. Brian O'Brien. 
Remember we got married, M Mandy and I, I graciously took your name. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what's so bad is like some people would actually name their kid that if their name yeah. was like You probably weren't listening earlier. Mandy had COVID last week. Oh, mm. oh no, I, I better get checked. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and the weird thing she got it from conan o'brien <laughs> <laughs> well my my at least we're talking at least we're talking about armpit hair because i'm picking up adrian so uh i hope the other people can't hear around here so armpit hair is a good subject that's okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you know back in the 70s i used to date a girl that didn't shape now her arms are armpit or her legs yeah. Bye. Her name Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't care. She was gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Armpit hair on a woman kind of turned me off. But and I, I don't know why. You know. But you know what also turned me off is when women started shaving their nether world, let Netherlands. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Because all of a sudden they look like three-year-old girls, you know, and that made me feel rather guilty, you know. Uh, yeah, and yeah. now it's the thing. I mean, everybody goes oh, and gets, yeah. you know, what what do they call them, Brazilians? Yeah. You know. So let, us, let us know when Adrian gets in the car. We'll stop talking about that. Well, no, <laughs> it, 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 this show is perfectly Adrian. It's Adrian uh, appropriate. Appropriate. <laughs> Yeah, two two o three is when I pick her up. Well, it, they, they'll be right across the street, right there. Why is it why is it two o three? Why don't they let them out at two o five no or two o'clock? And then she starts at eight o seven. Two o three. Oh yeah, it is almost. Yeah, it is almost two o'clock. It is almost two o'clock your time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, so so, are you outside the school now? Yeah, I'm just parked right across the street from when that where the gate is where they'll let her out. So wasn't, wasn't there a restraining order about it? I would say that when they let them out, it's a good time. It's a great time for child molesters in their car yeah. because yeah. being in front of a in front of a school in your car during Perfect. that time is considered appropriate. But if they did it any other time of the day. The free candy sign is a little much, though, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> the white, the white van. They had a couple of police here last week, last Friday, because people don't don't drive too nice around here sometimes. So they, they are a couple of motorcycle guys cruising around. So it's good. Didn't you have some horrible accidents in your area, Rick? No. Were you talking about some kind of accident the other day that somebody had? He was. Yeah, and he got killed. Is that the motorcyclist? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was somewhere else in Queens. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But of course, he was a good boy. Oh, geez. He ran a red uh... light. Oh, boy. Well, I knew him. He was a good boy. What are you complaining about? <laughs> anyway, so. And the mother can't understand what could have happened. He ran a red light. Hmm. Mm. That'll get you. So what else happened this week that I'm thinking about that uh, would be interesting to deal with? Nothing. See you all later. <laughs> hey, can I get some recommendations from the New York folk? Uh, sure. Yes. Uh, My wife are... and I are going to come to the city for a week, probably mid-October. And we're oh. trying to figure out strategically the best place that we should stay in New York. Is it like straight up Manhattan because it's the center, like Midtown is the center, and that's the easiest way to get around? I think the or, best yeah. place uh, what I, that I've heard is is Shecky's place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to make a visit over there if possible. But uh, <laughs> what's the best place to 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 stay that's central to everything? Wait, is um, it Midtown? Tony, we have a na friend named Tony that may have an extra room. <laughs> it, 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 come, trying, it comes with meals. I'm trying to think. Is Shecky uh, a hotel? Well, see, isn't it the Edison Hotel, which is like 48th Street or I don't, I'm off Broadway? The Edison, okay. Yeah. Isn't it a yeah, place called like the Belvedere the last like time we were there? That's like a touristy hotel, you know. Mm. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, do we want to put them in? What's a non touristy hotel? The Hampton in Manhattan. That's very expensive, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have to go on 42nd Street. Uh, 
Forty second. Forty second. Mike, Mike's got the, the Canada money. He can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it goes so far down there. Yeah, you got those the queen on it and everything. What more? Yeah, what are you coming to New York for? Is there a reason? Uh just to hang out. Um. Yeah, we uh, well the reason is is because we got well, a, if you're uh, coming from Canada, please don't go up on the street and say I'm here to hang out. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll do our best. We have yeah. a uh, we have a credit card attached to one of our airlines up here that uh if we don't book a trip at a certain point, we lose a companion fare and all that. So basically we're going to we can go anywhere in North America for like or anywhere in Canada or the US for like four hundred bucks. So we figure, well, let's go to New York. I can see some Letterman folk at the same time. And just, uh, it's our favorite American city. We haven't been there since 2015. So we're due. Is it your favorite American city, uh, uh, Shecky? I guess. <laughs> I, I think, I don't know if it is now, but I think San Francisco is a much better city. That's yeah, our I second favorite American city. Now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I, I hear it's a bit of a hellhole, San Francisco. Yeah, it is. It is. What, what are some good places now around uh, Central Park West? It's where I used to love to stay. Oh, um, I, I, I can't think of the name. Well, of the right Trump now. Hotel. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, the plaza's there. <laughs> I don't know who owns it now. Trump. No, yeah, didn't Trump I, buy I, it and then he sold it? I think the Chinese own it, don't they? Uh, yes, I do think yeah, the Chinese owner or somebody. I think the plaza might. might still be under renovation. I'm not even sure. Well, yeah. what it's doing, they, ch they changed part of the Plaza Hotel into condos, yeah. into yeah. residences. Right. And uh, then the half the hotel is still hotel. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a good suggestion. You know. Yeah, I've written it down. Yeah, yeah I have a question too, because I'm going to be visiting, hopefully in the Near, before Christmas, my because daughter. you were talking about your your daughter moved up here. Yeah. Yeah. Is she liking it so far? Oh yeah. Oh okay. All Pretty right. bad plan of that. When you come to see her, please come to see us. Oh, I will. I will. You know, uh, she's got to get settled. I mean, like she only went there for like a week and a half, and she came back to go to a wedding. Yeah. I mean, all of you, if you're in New York, come see me. Come see us. Yeah, I was gonna you say. Know? I noticed you didn't give me the invitation nearly as quickly as you gave Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a reason for that, Mike. <laughs> Pretty self-evident. I get it. No, I'm. You know, I, I. And and just let me know when you want to come, and I'll make sure I'm not in town. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of visitors this year. Maybe you have to shave your air. <laughs> well, I've had at least one person, a couple of people visit me from the show. One is uh, uh, Ray, Ren Ray Renati, who was on the other show, and Jeff has come in and I've met him. Um, and uh, you met Steve have, Bender, right? Steve, Steve Bender. Bender. Yeah. I've, I've gone and had lunch with him. I haven't heard from him in a while, though. I worry about him. Was, he's was, just uh, teaching. He's teaching something at this hour. Yeah. He said he couldn't. <laughs> And we met, God, that's got to be 10 years now. At least. Yeah, at least. I have a picture. You sent me a picture of you. Yeah, yeah that was back and, when you were at Sirius. And I said, oh, yeah, and now I remember the circumstance. You were somebody who enjoyed the show. And you called me and said, is there some, any way I can come see you do your show? And I said, sure. You know, That's great. Yeah, Christine Christine had set it up. I, w I wish we had cameras on our phones back when you were at Live 105. I used to love coming to that. You know, that was really Yeah, amazing. yeah. Yeah, could never do that kind of show again. No, you couldn't find a radio station that would let fifty people all come in off the street and hang it's out. Be liability, yeah, right, yeah. Oh well, today they would say, "Well, oh, somebody might come in with a gun, and it might be a place people want to shoot, and we don't have liability insurance." Blah, blah, blah. In those days, they went, they built me a studio so I could yeah. have a studio audience. You know? Yeah, but just uh, just think of the ratings. Just think of the ratings if that happened. <laughs> Go through the roof. <laughs> Yeah, no show tomorrow, but yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, go out, go out with a bang. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, I want to go when they no longer remember Alex Bennett. Okay, so when I go, who? <laughs> yeah, who? <laughs> well, listen, they're only only a couple of days. If I go to like, uh, oh, I don't know, um, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 
and you mention Alex Bennett, I'm sure there is nobody in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who knows what you're talking about. Probably not. But if you, come to, if you come to New York and you go to a bunch of, say, older people and you mention Alex Bennett, they would know who that was. And in San Francisco, the same is true. But I can attest to that. <laughs> well, but yeah, but most broadcasting was always very local mm -hmm. in those days. Yeah. And and so, you know, every everybody got to know the personalities. Also, you didn't have any syndicated personalities or anything like that. So every there were a lot of jobs for different broadcasters. Hey, Alex, I just Googled it. It says uh, Alex Bennett, obituary 1999 to 2017, <laughs> Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> what did it say? Go wait. What it says? It says Alex Bennett, obituary, 1999 to 2017, Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> and there's a brokerage market director from something called Sage Partners named Alex Bennett. And he died. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an obituary. And, and there and there's an optometrist named Alex Bennett in uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Everybody, know, everybody you knows. You know, the here's what I looked up <laughs> once because this has got to be the saddest guy in history. Okay. Is I looked all over the country in phone books and finally found an Adolf Hitler. Oh, oh no. And it, I think he was in Philadelphia. Oh. So we called him up. I mean, we had to, right? I did. And I said, uh, <laughs> How do you feel about having that name? I mean, you, I, one would have thought you would have changed it. And he said, well, no, because it's pronounced Heitler. <laughs> when I was a kid in Cleveland, there was a woman in the phone book named Fanny Lipschitz. And she ended up having to unlist her phone number because every kid in the, the world. Uh, every kid. Yeah. Yeah. Had to call Fanny Lipschitz. We had a realtor out here and he used to advertise on the shopping carts. And his name was Dick Hertz. And I mean, it was just like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> That's like back in the day when Letterman called up Dick Assman from Regina, <laughs> Canada. <laughs> Made a whole thing. I mean, how do these people survive is what I'm wondering. But the guy, no, the guy who literally told me the name is pronounced Heitler. So it isn't the same. I know five guys with my name who aren't related to me. One of them's a professor and a new age musician. I've had people mail me CDs to autograph. Wow, like, oh, that's awesome. And, and I autograph and send them back. Well, in Canada, yeah. there was a female model, fashion model named Alex Bennett. Wow. Oh, yeah. If you look it up, there she is. Did everyone call her Bolo as well? No, no, you <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> And please, the full pronunciation is Boleslav. <laughs> My parents called me Bolo, so, you know. But uh, so, you know, it, it um, um, uh, people are stuck with names. I have no idea why they stick with them, you know. Um, and um, <clears throat> there used to be two sisters, and I'm not, I'm not kidding you about this who were the two richest people in Houston, Texas. You know who I'm talking about, right, yes, Charlie? Yeah. And these two women literally were major patrons of the city of all the arts and the opera and so on. And that was in a pretty <laughs> non-cultural city at the time. But their names were Ima and Ura Hogg. Uh, <laughs> no. And that that's for true. real. That, that is, is not a joke. True. Huh? I said, that's absolutely true. Absolutely yeah. true. Wow. The hog Plus, system. hog wasn't named after that family, was it? <laughs> <laughs> there were there were two kids named Lamangelo and Orangelo down when I lived in Brazil. And you look at the name, it's orange, yellow, and lemon jello. <laughs> there, there, it, and there was a and there was a, a a woman I met who was named Maranuza. That was how they pronounced it. Mm -hmm. So how the hell did they come up with that name? Well, everything of quality said it on it. So we chose the name Modern Usa, Made in USA. Made in USA. <laughs> and, and I know I, I saw, I mean, it's a it was a real That's name. In Brazil? Yeah. And there was a girl named Latrina, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Latrina. Meta Latrina, yeah. yeah. But you know, I gotta tell you, correct me if I'm wrong about this, Charlie, but 
there is, because you have such a common name. I mean, you have a rather Gentile name there. Okay. <laughs> um, but blacks, people say, why do they name them such weird names? You know, Oprah and so on. And the answer to that is that in black tradition, you give your child the most original name you can come up with. Am I right about that, Charlie? Yeah. And that's why you get things like Latrina and uh, Avila, you know, and Volvita, you know, whatever, you know, because they don't want a name that really, you know, like Charlie. I mean, how'd you get the name Charlie for crying out? I'm named after my grandfather. <laughs> and the question is how he got his name. You know? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Jews always name their kids after dead relatives. A very nice yeah. thing to do. A uh, dead you know? one. They have to be dead. They have to be dead. Now, oh. my real name is Bennett. And you say, well, who was the relative? And it wasn't anybody. Yeah. It was because they they just didn't want to strap me with the name of the only, the only at that time, the only relative that was dead was Boleslav Schwarzman, <laughs> who was my father's brother who died, I think, of tuberculosis back in when he was 21. And so they they would have named me Bolo, but that wasn't. So they they went through the phone book they, and they looked at this, some names and something. They kind of liked the name Bennett. And so that's what they gave me. And then they nicknamed me Bolo. They called me Bolo as I was growing up. So, you know. Did, did you, have you had your name legally changed or no? No, 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 no I, a couple of reasons. Number one, I'm probably the last person uh, alive um, who has the name Schwarzman with my spelling. Mm. C-H-W-A-R-Z-M-A-N-N. -N. There are other Schwarzmans, S-C-H-W-A-R-T-Z-M-A-N, mm -hmm. but not the way mine's spelled. Huh. And, and I couldn't bring myself ever to change it. Mm. You know, and they say, well, what do you do about it? Like if somebody makes a check out to Alex Bennett, like you know, for some show you did or something. Mm -hmm. And I go, I just go, Alex, sign it, Alex Bennett, endorse it, Alex Bennett, and then endorse it, Bennett Schwarzman. And as mm -hmm. long as I'm not doing that to defraud, right. it's okay. You know, hmm. uh, I've never had any real problem about having two names. Yes, Jeff. My wife's name and yeah. her grandmother. Both had the first same name. That's what kind was, of weird. What, what was that? Mer um, uh, her name. Well, I used to call her Mumpy, which was her real name. Mumpy? <laughs> yeah, is that funny? And uh, the real name is Myrtle. Myrtle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mother and daughter. Yeah. Myrtle. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, um, Let's see. Marjorie is Marjorie. Hmm. Yeah. So she she has nothing weird about her name, outside of the fact she won't change it to Schwarzman, <laughs> and I don't blame her. You know, much more writer's cramp on a check. You know, and uh, she she wouldn't use that. And um, what what else didn't a she? lot of women do that now? Well, yeah, yeah she just decided, but it still it creates a great deal of confusion. <laughs> you know. You get used to it. I, I know, but change huh? my name back to my maiden name, even though I'm divorced, just because I've had this one for like 29 years, and it's like kind of what everybody knows me as, and it's just. Mm -hmm. So that was your married name, O'Brien. Yes. Yeah, Marjorie immediately immediately changed back to Marjorie Miller when she divorced her last husband, and then to tr get her name changed back to everything took forever. Yeah. I mean, this should be like just a little button you push no. you get to be you know miller instead of Molinsky or whatever i don't know the name yeah. was but anyway so hers back to yeah. her maid but i didn't i don't think that a woman should have to take a man's name oh. you know why you don't have to. Well, what's the practicality in it and the only reason it was done was for a woman being possessed basically yeah. No considered chattel and somebody who you know makes the dinner although there's nothing wrong with that uh, <laughs> anyway. hey listen we've run out of time here Ooh. and with that another <laughs> another and with that
<laughs> with my divorce pending. Yeah, Marjorie's uh, going to listen back to this, Alex. Be careful. Pretty brave when Marjorie isn't around. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, she apologizes for not being here, and she, she said she'll be back next week once her jaw is feeling better. I'm never, I'm never gonna hit her again. Okay. <laughs> Good idea. I promise I never. Don't will. even kid. Uh, listen, uh, Rick. Thank you for being here. Good luck at your doctor's appointment tomorrow. Yeah, feel better, Rick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Charlene, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Paula. Always nice to have you here. Uh, always nice to see your shining face, whether it's in person here or on the, you know. The Zoom here. And uh, Charlie Wallace, always a pleasure having you here because you talk more here than you do on the other show. <laughs> Len LaFrisco, wonderful. Uh, Mike Chisholm, good to see you. Love everybody, everybody here. Everybody should listen to your podcast. What's it called? It's called The Letterman Podcast. I want to get it up on GabNet still. Oh, That'd yeah. Be a tremendous well, honor. Tremendous honor. To, we have to figure out a way to do that. Maybe, right, cool. maybe I'll just put it up on the on demand here. We don't have to run it. We'll we'll figure out something. Okay. Awesome. All right. And uh, Jeff Stein, always a pleasure with you, Andrew. Anytime you're here, it's a it's a, just a inch better show. Okay. An inch. An inch. An inch. A metric inch or an inch. <laughs> and to Mandy, who is a infected human I'm being, sure that was a <laughs> always a pleasure having you here. And yeah, put on your mask. Okay. Yeah. We, we don't what that chattering is that's going on today? Oh no! Somewhere, somebody is somebody probably here. Uh, and uh, Brian O'Brien. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for joining yeah. us. It's almost time. Oh, she should be coming out of the school any minute now. Yeah. Okay. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Edward Berger, who signs off with this. That's all, folks. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, have a nice week. We'll see you next week, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.